Action. Right down Broadway to Draymond. Over to Mulder. Mulder takes a dribble, takes a three. It's on the way. The truth is out there as he buries it from the right wing. I'm from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. I started playing basketball, organized, when I was about seven or eight years old, so about, about as early as it gets. I played other sports growing up. I was an all-around athlete. I loved sports, but something about basketball I always loved the most. You know, from as early as I can remember, I was obsessed with basketball. I would watch it all the time with my dad and, you know, stay up late. I'd fall asleep just watching basketball. So I think it was just my early on, it was my, my motivator and the, my first love, really. First, I went to college at Vincennes University. It's a junior college in Indiana. And then I graduated from there and proceeded to go on to University of Kentucky. And I went to training camp with Miami Heat. That was my first training camp, so I was really excited about that. Not to mention, growing up, I was a Lakers fan. So my dad was like a really big Shaq fan. So Shaq had obviously went through Miami, which led me to Dwayne Wade, which was another inspiration of mine. So being able to go to Miami, you know, playing American Airlines Arena and all that stuff was really important to me, a really special moment. And, you know, I really cherished that. After that, I went to Sioux Falls, their G League team, and uh, really just focused on basketball. You know, I wanted to be the best player I could be. It was my third year pro and third year in the G League, and you know, I really had began to make a name for myself, and you know, I felt like my opportunity would, would arise as long as I played well with Sioux Falls. So I just did the best I could to be a good teammate and a good player in their system, and I uh, was fortunate enough to move on from there. During my 10 day, I was really focused just on putting one good day on top of another. You know, I wasn't really focused on, I have eight days left, seven days left. I was just kind of like, I have a practice in an hour, let's make the most of this practice. I have shoot around, let's learn the most I can, so I can prepare for the game. And when game time comes, I just gotta, gotta be who I am and plug myself into this system. So, you know, I was kind of just taking it one step at a time. On my last game, my 10 day, they were like, yeah, Mike, uh, I know this is the last day of your 10 day, but you know, like, no, it's not. Like, we're gonna try to, somehow, some way get you back in here. That was something that was really special to me because I worked so hard, not really expecting anything and not really thinking about the future coming into it. It was kind of crazy. All of a sudden it was there. I had taken advantage of my time on my 10 day, obviously, and I was fortunate enough to be in front of a pen and paper in a few days, signing a multi-year deal. So it was really exciting. I was excited to call my parents and tell them, you know, it had finally come to fruition and call my coaches and, you know, tell them what had happened. And they were really proud of me. And it was a, it was a high moment. For me. Boulder gets his first three There's the one. in a Warrior uniform. Now we're here, it's crazy. The long path, obviously, from JUCO to the G League. It's been a crazy path for me. Not one like the regular path of, you know, NCAA drafted in the NBA. I had a lot of pit stops along the way, so obviously getting the opportunity to, to come here on the 10-day the contract was huge for me. It was my first NBA call up, and it was something I had been preparing for for years. It's wild, you know, obviously, Growing up, I always dreamed of stuff like this. I just kind of like dove right into it. I took a long path to be to be here all these years later. It's something I'm really proud of, and you know I'm I'm really blessed to be in this position. And that kind of motivates me to keep going and work even harder to make sure I can stay in this position and, and have a long career. You look around the locker room, and I see these guys, and it's like this is exactly the trajectory I would love to be on. So you just try to soak up every day, listen, learn, grow as a person, as a player, and make sure you continue to get these opportunities.